Hi friends, so today I'm going to be sharing um, a couple mermaid hair recipes for you. So there's two options with this. One option is a spritz that you can put on your hair before bed or even um, after you shower, um, you know, during the day, it doesn't matter. Um, I like to do this right after I shower when it's wet. Some people like to do it at night, so it's up to you. And um, this recipe is for just strength and growth and just all the healthy hair things. And it calls for lavender, cedarwood, and rosemary. So we're going to do 10 drops of each of these in a two ounce bottle. Now usually I like to do four ounce bottles for my sprays, but I'm all out of my four ounce. So I'm just going to be cutting the recipe in half for the two ounce. So for the two ounce, you're going to do 10 drops of each. If you had a four ounce, you would do 20 drops of each. So here we go. I'm going to start with my lavender and 10 drops of lavender. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then the cedar wood, which lavender and cedar wood smell very nice together and they're nice and calming too. They are great for your diffuser. So that one's not wanting to come out, so I'll add those in off camera so you don't have to wait for that. And ten drops. Of rosemary. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then I'm going to add my witch hazel. Um, since it's a two ounce bottle, I'm just going to do about an ounce of witch hazel. And I don't measure, I just squirt it in. And you know, if you have a two ounce bottle and you want one ounce of witch hazel, then when it's about halfway full, you know you're good. And then you just fill the rest with your water. And the witch hazel is going to help keep those oils nice and acclimated into the water, but it's still a good idea to give it a nice little shake before you use it. So there is the mermaid spritz. Um, the second option is if you want a detangler, and this is my secret, um, pull time summertime when you're in the pool chlorine is so hard on your hair and mine is really thin and it will make it just break right off so this is my little tip for you when i was a lifeguard this is what i would do so when your hair is wet it can only absorb so much and once it's at capacity of absorption it won't absorb anything else so what you want to do is you want it to absorb your conditioner and not absorb the chemicals and the chlorine, right? So here's what you do. Get a little bottle, doesn't matter if it's two ounce or four ounce, just get a little bottle, take some of your um, Young Living conditioner. I love the Copaiba vanilla, it smells so good. I just love it. Um, so you're gonna do about a quarter full to a half full, depending on how much, how concentrated you want it. Um, fill it with your conditioner and then add water and then you're gonna shake it really good. And before you go in the pool, douse your hair. You want it really wet. Um, you want a lot of that um, conditioner in there and you want your hair to be absorbing that. And so then when you get in the pool, it's not going to absorb the chemicals. It works like a charm. It will save your hair at pool time. It'll save your little girl's hair. It's so good. Give it a try. Um, I think you're going to love it. So yeah, those are my two different recipes for you. One with the oils for the spritz to help just maintain healthy hair. And then the second one, um, make a little conditioner spray um, for great. It also works as a great detangler. Um, after you get your little girls, they get out of the shower and you know have lots of tangles. Um, so I hope you give it a try. Um, let me know how you like it and um, which one was your favorite. Hope you guys have a great day. Bye-bye.